This video shows you several children and their families. Each of these children is successful with their cochlear implants, with success being defined as meeting the optimal potential of the implant given the age of the child and the hearing ability prior to the time of implantation. The children and their parents illustrate the potential of cochlear implantation, which is to allow a child with hearing loss to participate fully and independently in mainstream life without limitations due to a hearing loss. As Daniel Ling, a pioneer in this field, once stated, if we are going to put limits on children with hearing loss, let the sky be the limit. But he didn't always respond to sound. Um, he wouldn't look over if you called his name. Even if he shouted his name, he wouldn't look over at you. Sam. Sammy. Say so you know your name. You look right at me. Oh, All done. Is it in your pocket? No. Let me see. I want my pocket. You sure? I want to look. Let me see. Let me see if it's in your pocket. Do you have a pocket? No. Oh, well, I guess it's not in your pocket then. I don't see. What happened to it? I don't know. I don't know either. It fell. Maybe it fell. So when you take your cochlear implants off, what is that like? I can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. What about when you put them back on? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. What's your favorite thing about the cochlear implant? When I'm listening to my teacher. When you're listening to your teacher? You like your teacher better than you like your mommy? That's mm -hmm. not... You, gotta, mm -hmm. you can't say that. Oh, I, I didn't know I was looking for a bow. Am I supposed to look for a glittery white bow? Yeah. Here. That, that's, uh, that's not... That's not bow and it's not white. <laughs> I'm messing up left and right. Here. Yes, there it is. Say yeah. good job, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Mom, I have home. Yeah, no, yeah, same one. I have two. You have two of them because you I'm have three processors. I have three. Yeah, two. How many three kids, kids are in your class? Six. That's not very many. Six. Only six? How many boys? One. One <laughs> boy and five girls? <laughs> How do you play hockey? We play two teams, two centers, two wings, two wings, two defense, but the two defense are way far from each other because they can't come against each other because they're defense. They, they're helping the goalie who's, the goalie um, defends the shoot, but the players want them to whack it away. They're trying to whack it away so um, the, they don't get a chance to score on their goalie so we can go get a chance to get a breakaway or they like, get a shot on goal. And then what position do you play in hockey? Center, wing, wing, and defense. So we switch them up so everyone gets a chance to play everything. How many times did you have to well, go see Amy? Most, not a lot of times. I only had like two times. Two times. So do you know what Amy was looking for or what were you trying to do with your second side? They were trying to get me to focus more and hear and understand more, understand the voices, what they're saying with my left. But most of the times I only had, I only went once just like, wow. <laughs> and then I'll see you again. She's like, you don't need to go to therapy anymore. Okay. Catherine, thank you for coming in today. You're welcome. And how old are you? I'm 10 years old. What grade are you in? I'm in fourth grade. Fourth grade. How many boys and girls are in your class? Well, I don't know apparently how many girls and boys, but in all, including me, there's 27. That's a lot of kids. Only one teacher? Yeah. Wow. So how does she make sure that you all behave? Well, 
they give out like warnings and stuff like that but overall she's a nice teacher yeah have you ever gotten a warning well i don't want to talk about it <laughs> how are your grades um pretty good and um usually it gets um she's getting the honor roll in all a's and b's well, good for you that's great so Oh yeah, me. Um, my science teacher found it on a website. You know this iron um, carton, iron suit carton. So we get we got that, and then first we paint it. We have to like sandpaper it first, and then we paint it, and then we got that dry, and then we cut the open, and then we put our food in it. It's so cool. What if like what if a young person, a boy or a girl your age, came up and said, "I'm afraid." Uh, to get a cochlear implant. What would you say to them? I would say, um, if you're free, just don't worry about it. If you get it, you'll hear, like, because when I first got it, it's like a miracle, because I can hear, like, other people. Mm -hmm. And you're definitely, like, you can't hear nothing or anything. It would be, like, really sad to not hear anything like other people. What's the number one thing you like to hear? Music. Do you have an iPod? I have an iPod touch. I use it like almost every day. Like on the bus or when I'm reading a book. Some common things like this mm -hmm. that you would do in an everyday basis. So.